This was the first time we'd actually checked that the holes were in the right place. You would think after all the faff, and it had been a couple of weeks since the first video, that we would have checked that we drilled the holes correctly, but no, now, now is the first time we're checking that. I certainly found it quite unbelievable that we'd actually managed to do something right. So here I am being really helpful, adding all the washers to the bar. But it's actually freaking Scott out a bit, the noise of it. I don't know why, but I was just really enjoying the way the washers kind of swirl down the bars. Quite nice to look at. for the really essential part of the gas tank attaching, Jojo inspection time. There was an awful lot of this. This went on for a long time. These four funny bars, they are quite securely attached to the tank. We have this nut and washer here. That's the last thing that we're going to tighten up. That will get pressed against the bottom side of the floor once the tank's actually positioned to really try and make sure that the bar cannot slip out of the welded foot. We put a, a nylon locking nut on the underside up here. That was not easy to get in position. All four threaded rods are in place. We're just tightening up the top nuts. And then we're going to start lifting this thing. Yeah, this is not a two-player game, Scott. Yep, very much. Right, okay. You lift it up from below and I'll tighten it from the top. Yeah, let's figure out how to lift it from below. Can I get a plank under it and then... Do you want me to put it up and over it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push this. Gently lower it if you like. I can't. Can you come and tighten the nuts? I've got it. Okay, come in.
The most difficult thing at this point was trying to get the tank level, so trying to get the base of the tank parallel to the ground. Okay, I will go get super flex, I guess. Now it's a bit floppy, but it's attached. <laughs> I wouldn't want to drive anywhere. I feel like somebody's gonna get impaled. And here I am about to show you what's going on under the van, but there's no room. He's gluing polystyrene under the van. To give a little bit of space between the underside of the top bar and the box to access all of the manifold stuff. And also to stop banging. Some really dangerous impaling the bobs, I call them. Yeah, <laughs> sticking up out the floor. And we have on all four corners, we've got a washer. Uh, what's this called? Just a regular nut. Regular nut, and then a nylon locking nut to doubly to react against the nut and also be a nylon nut and lock it in. And down underneath. Hold on, I can't get down low enough. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Nothing. What are you saying, Scott? I'm saying I'm glad that's done. Lastly, some seeker flex just to seal up those nuts. So water never gets in. <laughs> <laughs>